Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. And today we're going to do a beautiful song, a tribute, a thank you to India um, by Pasang Dolama. I, I'm not sure if I said her name correctly, but it was during the Thank You to India celebration by the Tibetans in India. So yeah. we know... China, who else, yeah. has taken over Tibet, and the Dalai Lama is a refugee in India, um, but we also know his, um, what he's brought to the world, um, you know, sharing Buddhism, it's just, he's amazing. Big role model. Big role model, but now he is hiding in India um, because China has taken Tibet. China has taken a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I mean, they're big liars about everything. They're mm -hmm. not letting anyone in. Nothing is happening to them. They need to, like, take responsibility for their actions. And right. we need to make them take responsibility for their yeah. actions. Yeah, we need to be able to be let in to find out what really happened with the coronavirus. Yeah. Not the first virus that has come out of there. Not the first stuff that they've pulled, you know. Probably not the last stuff that they've pulled. Probably pull. not the last. Um, but, yeah, we need to get in and investigate. We know that they were crossing the border in India. We know yeah. that fights started out. And, unfortunately, Indian soldiers were martyred. Um, so we, our thoughts and prayers are with those families right now because that is the hardest thing. Soldiers are put their lives on the line every single day and um, it just breaks our heart to hear that um, because of China again they're taking they're taking Indian soldiers lives over yeah. a border that's not theirs because they've crossed it um, but this beautiful song is um, in celebration and um, and a thank you to India we are gonna listen to this beautiful song yeah ready Oh, 
Holiness the great fort in Dalai Lama, long live, long life, intent Tibet and friendship. Jai Hind, Jai Hind, Jai Hind. Thank you, India. Thank you, His Holiness. Thank you. This was beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, her voice goes like perfectly with the song. Mm -hmm. Her voice is so pretty. Like yeah. it's really. Um, and it was simple. It was pretty repetitive of, yeah. you know, like thank you and we salute you India and um, a lot of praise, but her she has an amazing voice. She like, really does. Um, reminds me a little bit of Lata Mangeshkar's voice. We've done some of her work. Um, yeah just amazing she did an amazing job and I was reading a little bit about um because I I was thinking India had just let in the Dalai Lama was having him I didn't realize they were allowing a lot of the Tibetans to come in yeah. um after China kind of took over and they've been refuging you know in India and um you know and and the Dalai Lama himself calls him like the son. The, he's the son of India. Yeah. Because um, he's been there, and and because we know Buddhism came from India, they talked about due to India's consistent generosity and kindness, we the people in exile have been able to preserve our ancient culture and heritage while they were in exile, which is amazing. We know yeah. India is secular, and you know it welcomes everybody peacefully anyone peacefully with open arms and so that doesn't surprise me that they were able to kind of keep their own heritage and but the one thing that it did say was China has occupied Tibet and we expect India has the only legitimacy and credibility to speak out about it and yeah. they're not the only ones like the world needs to get on top of China right now especially now like yeah. they're doing so much bad they have brought this big virus onto us and we need to make them take credibility for it yeah they need to be accountable for it they need to let people in to investigate um they need their un seat revoked or put on probation until they get stuff you know where where people can go in yeah. and, and investigate this this is not the first time it's come out they've lied about many 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 things um, and this is not a government you want to deal with, one that lies. No matter what you do, they lie to you, and, and that's how they get to be on top of the world. Um, you know, that's not how it should be. No. You know, this one China policy needs to go away, and Tibet needs to become its own country again, and Hong Kong needs to get China's hands off of it again, and Taiwan as well. And this is something that all the other countries need to come and bring up. China just needs to, like back off yeah. especially now because they're making things so much worse going into indian borders doing a bunch of this bad stuff yeah they're trying to distract everybody they are trying we to already distract know everybody. it is from china we I need know. to investigate we're not getting our minds off of this right but they're like oh if we start here and there or if we push ourselves because we they feel like they are big and powerful they've gotten away with this but for they so shouldn't long. be long yeah, so they're And they pushing. shouldn't have gotten away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You shouldn't have a permanent membership seat and start wars with your neighbors and start pushing and not, you know, you have policies with different countries, but you don't honor them, but you want the other countries to honor your policies. That's yeah. not how the world works. That's, no. So we need to... Uh, everybody needs to bring these issues up at the G7, at the UN, and, and help you know, these countries that are getting taken over by China help them get their countries back. Um, you know, this is not, China needs to be accountable. And, mm -hmm. and India, I know they're crossing your border and we don't want to see any more soldiers lost, but we need somehow this to be, um, you know, fizzed down and, yeah. and not escalated into a war because your focus, they're distracting you. What your focus needs to be is don't let these coronaviruses spike. 
because it's starting to go up and India's starting to open up. So you need to get that under control. The next thing is, in Modi said it, we need to be the next made in India. People want a product, you know, and if you don't have an alternative, if the only product is made in China and there's no alternative, of course you're going to buy made in China. And this is only one But if there one is key. an alternative, you need to buy the alternative. Yeah, if there's an alternative. Because the alternative is going to be better. Right. Especially if it's made from India. Exactly. Made in India, make it good, which we know you do. We have ha- we have a lot of stuff in our house that's made in India. It's yeah. beautiful. Um, wooden sculptures and um, carvings and clothing. I mean... Just some of the stuff is just amazing. So we yeah. know the quality is there. This is the time to rise up. This is the time to really take what Modi's saying. Let's open our doors to these companies that want to bring in jobs, that yeah. want to bring in different manufacturing. So you can say proudly, we made it in India. It's made in India. I want that lion on that tag too. Mm-hmm. Made in India. So that people can say, oh, I want to get this. Because not only is it... A, a good price but it is made good in India quality good quality yeah a lot of the stuff that's made in China I will show you around our house one of these days the some of those toys that we have bought because we didn't know and they make it cheap and they make it not good so you buy it again and again and again because it breaks and then you need to buy a new one mm-hmm. uh, so it's not worth it no you end up buying more of it and you end up spending more money than you would if you bought the better one to begin with and you would kept that right so this is a golden opportunity you know you have people that love india you know all over the world india has brought so many great things to the world let this be the next big thing let's help your economy let's get everything so that you're the next big thing and i know the u.s is gonna support you it's just you know, we need the other countries to come around and say, we don't want to be a debt to China and have them take our land away, which yeah. has been happening. And we don't want to have to buy products always made in China. We're not going to be able to do everything. But if we can take some of that away from them, and then, you know, we need the big political leaders to get their UN seat on probation or get some of these other countries to get their autonomy back get China's hands, grubby little hands off of everything and make them accountable for this virus, which isn't the first time a virus has come out of China. They need to have some accountability. Um, Right now they think they're all powerful and we need to show them that they're not. Yeah. Right? So I hope you guys loved this beautiful song. It was a beautiful tribute um, from the Tibetans to India. And um, so we... uh, Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.